In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the implied audit value for a population using difference estimation. So let's say that we're auditing accounts payable, and we've got the following data here. We've got a population of 6,500. That means there's 6,500 different accounts, 6,500 different entities to which we owe money. And the book value for that population is a little over $6 million, $6,025,500. Okay, now we draw a sample. We draw a sample from that population of 500 accounts. So there's five. We don't look at all 6,500. We don't have the time. So we look at 500 of them. And those 500 have a book value of 450,000 and an audit value of 462,000. And the question is, how do we extrapolate this audit value from our sample to get an idea what would be the audit value, what should be the accounts payable per the auditors? For the entire population even though we haven't observed the population how do we use what we've got from the sample to, to figure this out and so with difference estimation you could break it out into four steps so first calculate the difference between the audit value and the book value for the sample so audit value and book value we got 462,000 minus 450,000 so we have twelve thousand dollars okay that's step one now, in step two, take that difference, this $12,000, and divide it by the number of accounts for the sample. There are 500 accounts in the sample. So you're basically getting the, the average difference. You're saying, look, these are different by $12,000. We divide it by the number of accounts. Okay, if you do that, you get 12,000 divided by 500. That will be $24. So now we have $24, but we're not done. In step three, we're going to take that number, the $24, we're going to multiply it by the number of accounts in the population. So we've got here, this is our average difference for the sample, right, for, for our sample, but now we're going to multiply it by the number of accounts in the population. So we're going to take 6,500, we're going to multiply it by $24, and that comes out to 156. I'm going to write it down here for space. Okay, so this times this comes out to this $156,000. But we're not done because now what we need to do, and this is our final step, we're going to take the number we just calculated, the $156,000, and we're going to add it. And we're going to add it to the book value of the population. So book value of our population, $6,025,500, and we're going to add $156,000. And that's going to give us a grand total of $6,181,500. And this is what is it, this is going to replace our question mark here. Instead of this, this is going to go right here. So that is the implied audit value for the population, $6,181,500.